welcome back to my latest baby trapping video. Today I'm going to be going over a bunch of the uh, ways I set up the trap and uh, how I get people to hit me as a baby trap. So um, this is how I basically do it. I go to a hive, I'll start uh, attacking their members, I'll basically pick empty castles, I guess, like quote unquote empty castles. I'm looking for leaders. Um, that's basically the main thing. Or I'll find like a big empty castle like this and I'll go burn them and kind of gets them going a little bit. So um, this guy's just sending a fake attack at me. So I'm not sure what that's actually for. I guess maybe it's just to annoy me. Um, but yeah, so I'll, I'll kind of burn their castles. Yes, I will lose troops in this, but it's worth it in the end. Um, how I run my baby trap, I usually have training talents on anyways. So even if I start like losing troops, I'll, I'll build them back anyway. So it's not the biggest deal, but yeah. So I look for, ba I'll scout their whole base. Um, I won't be in a guild most of the time. And then I will attack people who have the leaders, try to get a leader or two. Um, if not, I'll just attack empty castles and hopefully that gets them to hit me. Um, so this is the first guy who's trying to hit me here. He's a 7.2 million might. Um, I am currently 11 million might in this uh, video. So I'm actually larger than him, but they probably just see a guildless um, level 16 castle. Uh, most people who know what traps are um, will actually know that a level 16 castle that's guildless is usually a trap. Um, these newer players don't know as much, so that's why I get a lot of attacks this way, because they see you as level 16. That means you don't have tier 3. That means you must be very weak. Uh, you only have tier 1 and 2, so tier 1 and 2 are weak, right? No. So <laughs> um, just, just how attacking works, yes. Attacking with tier 1 and two, tier 2 is very weak, but defending with it is not, and that's why I can basically take these hits really easily, because... Um, having millions of tier 1 and 2 uh, don't increase your might very much, and they also uh, are very good for defending. So they're not good for attacking, so don't build tier 1 or tier 2 to attack. You build them to defend. Um, so yeah, so that was basically a pretty easy attack uh, from him. You're just sending some, I guess, uh, basic tier 3 at me. That was the scout there. Uh, here, where's the report? Here's the report. So he sent, how much did he send? He sent 90,000 at me. So we'll kind of see what he actually sent. He ended up losing 36,000, but uh, let's, see what, let's see the actual report here. If it stopped lagging. Yeah, so he sent mostly tier three. He only sent a little bit of tier two, but yeah, it was, it was a mixed tier three. Most of these attacks, when people send, they're all mix. Um, they don't know what a, uh, a blast is or how to not He's speeding up two troops at me, so that's interesting. Um, so yeah, they don't know what a blast is. They don't know how to properly set up their heroes. So they always just send mix at you, and uh, and that's kind of what most of the attacks are—just mix attacks. And it kind of does work out, sort of, because um, well, first off, he didn't send any heroes, which is also very see. That's <laughs> they don't send heroes. Um, they don't realize that the squad attack does a lot of damage. Yeah, so a lot of your attack, actually an attack, will come from that squad attack. So obviously gold heroes are the best because they have 200% squad attack. And this is why a purple or gold trickster will be much better than, let's say, a nether uh, blue or, yeah, a blue hero that's also like a range hero, even though it gives you that HP and, like, army attack, or not army attack, the, whatever, the, the range attack. The trickster will actually be better because the squad attack does more damage than the attack boost would at that level. So if you're ever wondering, that's that's kind of what's going on. So this guy, Sun Surf, also attacked me. Yeah, so he sent a mix of, yeah, 20, he actually, oh, he sent his leader and he actually sent heroes, which is good. Um, so yeah, so these are kind of the basic heroes you've seen, a lot of these lower people. Um, if you, if my voice does sound weird, it's, um, my throat's a little sore today, so <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, hopefully it's it's not taken away from the video, but yeah, so I now have two of their leaders, um, and that's why I usually take a leader, because a lot of times they'll actually try to release the leaders. And I have a, what's it called, a, a ring that's not supposed to be there. Um, <laughs> that's a construction ring. Um, so I, I apparently I missed this attack um, on the video, but he decided to hit me. And uh, this is basically the aftermath of it. He did get an attack back, so they know my troop comp now, so they're probably not going to hit me again, because when you see the guy has 2.6 million troops, you probably won't try to hit him. But yeah, so he caught me off guard, so I didn't actually get it on video, but he got some siege back, which is normal here. But he had some okay heroes. It, he didn't have great. He had okay gear, okay heroes. But yes, he didn't burn me by any chance. He just managed to get a attack back. So that was kind of the 
last time I believe that they would try and hit me because, like I said, um, yeah, so what I should have had is my actual gear on. So like I said, he caught me off guard. I wasn't paying attention. I don't, I don't, I might've been off for a couple seconds or whatever. And that's what happened, but I'm not really too worried about that. But yeah, it did stop the, uh, oh yeah. Someone was also spamming me while I was doing this. So this is another hive. So I was attacking this hive as you can see. So this guy is sending an attack at me while I am attacking one of their, uh, their, uh, guys. And you, you'll see that there's messages blocked up because this guy kept spamming my inbox, so I just blocked him. But unfortunately, the block thing doesn't actually stop the message from coming up. I wish it just would not show anything that he was even messaging me because at that point, I don't even want to know because I think that they should fix that because I'm still getting spammed. I'm getting that notification. Anyway, so this guy is sending only a couple thousand troops at me. I'm, I'm fake attacking this other... Uh, person and then they're trying to what's called reinforce while I'm fake attacking so I believe I should I think I must have already attacked someone got a leader that's why they're kind of retaliating here so this is uh the k1 hive I don't know much about this guild because I didn't join them or anything afterwards I just kind of attacked them and got some uh got some footage from attacking them basically so so the obviously I ate that that march um this guy is speeding up to get his march in there. So what I'm going to do is recall my uh, my march. Um, see, what they could do if, if they were smart, what they, well, if they're online and knew how to do this, what they basically would do is send a garrison, port away as my march is going, and that would make me hit their march, but they don't know that. So that's, that's fine. That's why I wasn't too worried. So he sent 45,000 at me, ended up losing 18,000. He met, managed to injure three of my 3,000 of my uh, grunts, which obviously is quite fast to heal up um so yeah we'll take a look at what he actually sent here so yeah another thing mix exactly completely uh even across the board um 11,250 um i'm sure he can send more so i'm not sure why he only sent that much but anyways that's not the problem he actually sent heroes so he he's doing it right um yeah <laughs> except the siege heroes aren't really needed but that that's another story um, so yeah, I'm just looking at some reports, seeing if there's anyone else I can hit. Because I'm, I'm still looking for more leaders, because the more leaders I get, the more chance, or more chances are that they will actually try to retaliate. So <laughs> here's like a bunch of uh, marches coming at me. Uh, I, was, I was trying to see if any of these were actual real marches, but that was 50 troops. 300 troops. These are, these are the weird, 500 troops. These are the weirdest one troop marches that I've ever seen. So there's a one troop march. So I'm just trying to see if people are, because I'm pretty sure they'll try and sneak something in here. Um, or at least I thought they might try and sneak something in, but these are just like weird random troop marches. So, and maybe that, and because they were random troops, I thought that's why they'd probably try and sneak something in here. Because if you were sending one troops, then they're all the same, but this one, they're trying to make all the troops different, so maybe I wouldn't know what's going on, so I decided to scout the guy next to me and see what he had. He had 200,000, and I believe that might be... No, it's still the same guy. So the same guy is <laughs> sending random troops. Is that a real one there? That Siren one? That's, that's what I'm going to check out. It's definitely slower, so yeah, that one's a real one. There's a hundred and something thousand in that. I don't know the exact number, because like I said before, I don't have the level of a watchtower that will actually tell me what level uh, the troops are sending. And as a level 16 castle, you can never actually know because I think that's a much higher level thing that you can actually get. So so that's the one problem. Like, you, you'll know about how many troops they're sending. You can kind of maybe guess based on their castle level. But other than that, um, there's, no, there's no way I would know. So there seems to be another one. Yeah, there's one from him. Yeah, so I think two people are sending 100,000 marches at me at this point. Um, this other guy is just sending fake ones. Yeah, I think, I think Jayami and Zam, Zarni. I wonder if it's the same account. Because they're, uh, <laughs> their names are very similar. <laughs> um, just a Z and a J difference. So maybe the same guy on two accounts trying to gangbang attack me here. Uh, both sending 100 and something thousand i doubt it's just a hundred thousand it's probably a hundred and forty thousand ish depending if they're sending heroes but they're not sending leaders so i never know with these people if they're actually sent heroes or not because if they don't send a leader a lot of times they won't send a hero and so k1 so he went to attack me then recalled i believe 
I believe that's what happened there. He recalled. I think he must be trying to time it with the other attacks that are coming in, but uh, little does he know it won't really help. Um, especially unless you're level 25 castle with basically good good heroes or good gear, you're probably not going to get a march back from me. That's just kind of how it goes. Um, so here's a 70,000 march coming at me. So I, I basically just paused it and restarted it as this attack was coming in, but uh, 70,000 obviously won't do much at all. Um, no leader deployed in this one, so I won't be getting his leader, unfortunately. But it should be an easy uh, easy take, and it probably shouldn't uh, fill up my infirmaries very much at all. So we'll, we'll go in there and see what, uh, what's going on there. So he injured 1,000 troops. Yeah, that, was, that wasn't a big hit, so I'll heal that up because... We'll see what's, we'll, well, just make sure my infirmaries are a little more empty so I don't actually have to spend so much on healing because once once they get past my grunts, it starts costing speed ups and stuff because uh, that'll be tier two. Um, this was basically just injuring my tier one, so it's insta healing and let's see if there's any more attacks coming. There's a 40,000 here from Rikunu Papa. He's 10 mil might. Um, not sure what level castle he is. Where is he? Rukunu Papa. So he's a he is a past level 16, so this could be tier 3 coming in. That also won't do any damage to me, because 40,000 is nothing. Um, so I don't know which ones are the real attacks, so I'm just going to sit here and get some food out, just make sure I'm healing. That was 500 troops injured, so that was the 40,000 that hit me. That basically did nothing. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, 40,000 troops is not going to do anything, especially if you don't send your leader. Um... Yeah, and especially if you don't send heroes, because people forget to send heroes a bunch of times, which is a little interesting, because I don't, I don't know if they realize it does less damage. Um, well, at least they should realize, especially if they're missing out the squad attack. So that's a single troop here. There's a one-minute one coming in, so that could be a real one. Yep, so 50,000 from Papa Pansu. Papa Pansu. <laughs> Papa pa Pansu. Okay, but anyways, <laughs> hopefully. Anyways, the, the names, I'm not saying the name right, whatever, but that's fine. <laughs> so one one attack comes in, that injured 15,000, they insta-healed that one, 26,000. So I'm ma making sure I'm healing these just so, um, it's not because I'm worried about losing troops, it's more just so I don't have to use my tier 2 and actually have to use speed ups to heal. So I want those insta-heals going on. And that's why I keep tier 1 in my front line. It's... That's the only reason is because on these small hips, I don't have to use any speed ups to heal up because it just insta heals them all. And I actually do that on my main trap as well. So that one was uh, a bunch of tier three. Um, that was, yeah. And the, this next one was also oh, 170,000 tier three. So that was 68,000 there. I'm just going to see what's going on, see if I need to heal up at all, see if these are real attacks. One, no, don't need to heal that one. <laughs> well, at least I hope I don't. Um, there's something totally wrong if one troop injures me. So fifty thousand. So from another guy, from another attack from Papa Pansu. <laughs> so yeah, that won't do any damage either. So I don't don't have to worry about that. I'm just trying to see if there's any some big hits. Maybe a tier three guy or not tier three, yeah, a level twenty five guy got on or something. But uh, so those were pretty easy. So here's the hit from Yadasan. Why why Yarn why Yarni why Yarni. Jarny, Jarny, I don't know. All right, whatever, however you say that name, J Yarny. <laughs> anyway, so it was a bunch of tier three, with a little bit of tier two fodder as well. Um, didn't really do any damage. Same thing. And let's see, how much did that injure? A thousand. So that fifty thousand looks like it injured a thousand or two thousand, I guess, nineteen hundred. Um, see if this is an actual attack. Nope, it's a one siege. So not to worry about that. See if this one is an actual attack. Nope, one siege. Um, so yeah, they're still. They're still sending the single troops, so I'm getting hit a lot here, so. Just trying to see which ones are actual attacks to show you and which ones aren't. That's a single. Here's the six. That's 54,000 they sent at me. Let's see if it actually is tier 3 or not. Nope, it was a tier 2 attack, so yeah. thought the might was quite low for a tier 3, but Papa Pansu is sending tier 2 at me to try uh, try kill his troops, I guess, because uh, those 170,000... Marches weren't doing anything, but his uh, 50,000 tier 2 would probably do a lot. <laughs> no, no, it's uh, I'm, I'm joking, but... 
yeah, so I'm dead. <laughs> okay, anyway, so I guess that was the end. So that, that was those were the last hits that I got from that hive. Uh, I'll have more uh, baby traps coming on. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy these baby trap videos. Um, this is kind of what a baby trapping video is like. I get hit by a bunch of people all at the same time because they can't rally me, which is the perfect uh, reason why you should make a baby trap level 16 castle because you can't get rallied and you have to take all these nice solo attacks. And you get a lot of action, especially in the uh, closed kingdoms. Um, I haven't really been trapping at all with my baby since the kingdom opened. I'll probably migrate to another kingdom just so I can get some more content, but I still have a bunch saved up, so hopefully you guys are liking these ones and i'll have another one next monday so if you guys are liking these uh, videos please leave a like on the video please subscribe and i'll see you guys uh, on the next video okay